If the person is acutely confused or delirious, the delirium that we spoke about, the potential cause, uh, causes can be pain, they'd be uncomfortable, um, they can have be having it, they can be starting to develop an infection, and of course, it could be side effect of medication. Because this is so important and it is so often missed, it is crucial that we just keep that in mind when we are managing and caring for people that have got this particular problem. You can put a scrapbook together with photographs and pictures. This is an extremely useful tool. Um, there are also like a printout on the internet that one obtained, and we use that quite a lot in our work, where we help the person to write a life story, which helps them remember who they are, what they did and what the meaning of their life was. Um, in this process, one stimulates a lot of recall and memory, expression of feelings, and of course, speech, when you ask them to describe um, and discuss the particular events. Um, in our work, what we do with the carers that we place uh, to look after people with this particular problem and take care of them on a daily basis, we, we train them so that they can understand the meaning of this um, and how to deal with some of the emotions that come up when the patient tells them about events from their past. Very important, laugh together. Please reassure the person that if they've dropped something and it broke or they tripped over a, something in the corridor or they missed some food or coffee or even if they've wet themselves, reassurance is crucial and to, for the person to understand that it is not a problem. It is okay. We have to, of course, have a lot of empathy with our patients um, and with people that suffer from this uh, difficulties.